In this video, we're going to work on some practice problems involving spheres, like this one. Find an equation of a sphere with center 2, negative 4, 3, and radius 5. How do we do it? Well, there's a formula that you need to know. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. Now, this looks like a circle, but once you add z minus l squared, now we have the standard equation for a sphere with center h comma k comma l and radius r. So in this example, we can see that h is 2, k is negative 4, so we have y minus negative 4, which we can write that as y plus 4, and finally, z is 3. So this is going to be plus z minus 3 squared. Now the radius is 5, so 5 squared is 25. And that's how you can write the equation of a sphere given the center and the radius. Now let's move on to the next problem. Find an equation of a sphere given the endpoints of a diameter, which are 1 comma negative 6 comma negative 5 and 5 comma 2 comma 7. So how can we do this? Well, let's begin by drawing a generic sphere. Let's say we have a sphere in this region. We're going to say this is P1 and P2. Now, of course, these aren't the exact points, but I'm just helping you to get a, a visual illustration of what we need to do here. Now, the diameter is a segment that passes from one point on the circle to another point, but what's most important is that the midpoint of the diameter is the center of the circle. So if we could find the midpoint between P1 and P2, that's going to give us the center. Now the second thing that we need to do is find the radius of the sphere. Because once we have the center and the radius, we can write the equation. The radius is the distance between one of the points on the circle, like P1 or P2, and the center of the circle. So we could find the radius by using the distance formula to calculate the distance between the center and let's say P2 for an example. Now let's go ahead and begin. So first, let's use the midpoint formula for a three-dimensional system. So we're going to average the x values of the two points, and then we're going to take the average of the y values and the average of the z values. So you can call this x1, y1, z1, and this is going to be x2, y2, and z2. x1 is 1, x2 is 5, and let's see, y1 is negative 6, and y2 is 2, z1, that's negative 5, z2 is 7. So now let's do some math. 1 plus 5 is 6, and if we divide that by 2, that's going to give us 3. Negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. Divided by 2, that's negative 2. Negative 5 plus 7 is 2. Divided by 2, that's 1. And so here we have the midpoint of the sphere, which is basically the center of the sphere. So we have the point 3, comma 2, I mean, comma, negative 2. So let's not make that mistake, comma 1. Now, the next thing we need to do is use the distance formula to calculate the radius of the circle. So I need to find the distance between the center, and I'm going to use the second point, which is 5, comma 2, comma 7. So here's the distance formula. It's going to be the difference between the x values squared plus the square difference between the y values plus 
the square difference between the z values. And then we're going to take the square root of that entire result. So the second x value, well, let's call this x2, and this is going to be x1. So the second x value is 5. The first one is 3. y2 is 2. And so y1 is going to be negative 2. So this is going to be 2 minus negative 2, which is 2 plus 2. And then the second z value is 7. And the first one is 1. So we have 5 minus 3, which is 2. And then 2 plus 2, that's 4. 7 minus 1 is 6. Now, 2 squared is 4. 4 squared is 16. 6 squared is 36. 36 plus 4, that's 40. And 40 plus 16 is 56. So the distance between a center and point P is the square root of 56. So therefore, r is root 56. So now that we have the radius, which is this value, and we have the center of the circle, we can now write the equation of the sphere. So let's go ahead and use the formula x minus h squared plus y minus k squared plus z minus l squared equals r squared. So h is the x-coordinate of the center, so that's going to be 3. k is the y-coordinate of the center, so y minus negative 2, that's the same as y plus 2. And l is the z-coordinate of the center, so l is 1. Now, if r is the square root of 56, r squared is simply 56. And so this is the answer for this problem. So that's how you can write the equation of a sphere if you're given the endpoints of the diameter of the sphere. Now, this is going to be the last problem of this video. So let's find the center and radius of the sphere given the equation x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus 4x plus 6y plus 10z is equal to negative 29. So what do we need to do here? What we need to do is complete the square and put it in this form. So we need to convert our equation and write it like this. Because in this format, we can clearly see what the center and the radius of the sphere will be. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing I'm going to do is group the appropriate variables together. So I'm going to place the negative 4x right next to the x squared. And 6y, I'm going to write it next to y squared. And 10z, let's put that next to z squared. So now we need to complete the square. What we need to do is focus on the middle coefficients in front of the variables x, y, and z. Half of negative 4 is 2, and 2 squared is 4. So what I'm going to do is add 4 to both sides. To complete the square with y squared plus 6y, we need to take half of 6 and square it. Half of 6 is 3, 3 squared is 9. So let's add 9 to both sides. And for z squared plus 10z, half of 10 is 5, 5 squared is 25. Now what we need to do is factor this trinomial. How do we factor x squared minus 4x plus 4? So think of two numbers that multiply to positive 4, but add to negative 4. This would be negative 2 and negative 2. So the way you would factor it, it would be x minus 2 times x minus 2, which you could simply write x minus 2 squared. Now what about y squared plus 6y plus 9? Two numbers that multiply to 9 but add to 6 are 3 and 3. 
So when you factor it, it's y plus 3 times y plus 3, which we can write as y plus 3 squared. So to quickly write it, it's going to be this sign and then half of this number. So basically negative 2. Here it's going to be half of this number, 3. The last one is going to be half of 10, which is 5. So when you factor it, it's going to be z plus 5 squared. Because two numbers that multiply to 25 but add to positive 10 is positive 5 times positive 5. They multiply to 25, but they add to 10. Now, let's add these four numbers. So here we have plus 4 and plus 25, which is 29. And 29 and negative 29, they cancel out to 0, leaving us with 9. So now we can write the center. H is positive 2 without the negative sign. Don't forget to reverse what you see here. K is negative 3. It's the opposite of positive 3. And L is negative 5. So we have the center 2, negative 3, negative 5. Now R squared is 9. So if we take the square root of both sides, R is 3. And that's how you can complete the square in order to find the coordinates of the center of the sphere and its radius, given an equation that looks like this. And that's basically it for this video. Thanks for watching.